Hello and welcome. My name is Neil and my handle is Wiley11. Um, and let me start by saying that everything I do and say on these videos, I accept no liability whatsoever. So if you're following along trying to do something or take some of the advice I've offered, you do so entirely at your own risk. Um, this is my attempt to give back to YouTube for the help and assistance that YouTube has given me and I'm trying to be careful uh, if I slip up then you know I'm human and uh, you'll have to forgive me for that um, so yeah that's what this is this is well-intentioned and well-meaning advice and you follow along entirely at your own risk and if you're not wanting to do that then by all means click this off and off you go thanks for thanks for tuning in all right now we're recording okay so i want to show you guys this error and how it came about i'm going to actually recreate it uh what i managed to do was i managed to flip this lock mechanism across i'm just going to do that real quick Right, so that's where that SD card is where I'm actually doing my recordings to. Thanks very much, Mr. Emails. Now I'm going to try to do a recording and I'm going to get a message in a second. And you see that something went wrong, we weren't able to save the video. And you get all this convoluted message, OXA, well, that doesn't tell you very much. Okay, now the problem there is. <coughs> And I need to take a shot of this, so I'm just going to capture that real quick. Where am I? This is what I'm looking for. I just want to grab that error so I can illustrate it and save it real quick. Now you see what's going on here is I'm actually able to, to save things. I'm just going to put it in this folder so I can find it and I'm just going to say uh, um, okay file save error right up so we can get rid of all that and now I can go ahead and solve the problem what I need to do is eject that thing I didn't do that last time and I'm just going to continue that now that says that's okay and I'm going to put it back to good so what I did there is I slid that back into the unlock position <clears throat> and now when I go to record <clears throat> you have to excuse me I've managed to pick up a flu and you can see there it's recording just fine now I want to talk about this error right so there it was it recorded just fine if i go down in here you'll find out that where i'm putting that is on my sd card so if i go into my sd card and it goes in here somewhere under uh, pics and camera roll so that little recording that's that one there right so you can see there it's recorded just fine and um, what it was, um, I put this particular device into a read-only mode. So let's go ahead and put something in read-only mode. Um, well, actually, there's a couple of traps for a young player. Um, I need to stop this and start it again in a few minutes, I think. Uh, I've got about a minute left on this one. Um, what I'm trying to tell you is that that message is nothing to be scared of. Um, the message is simply that it couldn't save the file. That's it. And you get all these big things and it's got error messages everywhere and, oh, it's all too hard. So if I just pop that open, I just want to get that reference. Um, what do I want? I want this. I want my pictures, MP4, that's where it is. And here's my error, right? And this is what popped up. 
and you can see it's OXA00F425C video capture file creation file. Now when you go googling that <coughs> you get a whole bunch of well-meaning advice which is wrong. Um, uh, I was told first of all reset the camera. Okay I went through all that um, nothing nothing changed. I still wasn't able to save my videos. So the next thing was I'd install the camera and I had to go through PowerShell and get rid of it through PowerShell and, and I went through all that. And then I went to reinstall it and the first thing that happened is the Microsoft Store told me it couldn't install the camera app. And it was a different error code. It was OX8 something or other other. And all it was doing it was it was remembering that location where I was saving my videos and it, it the the app does a check to say can I even install and if it finds something it doesn't it just doesn't install it just goes away and says no no go fix your problem because I don't want to know about you until I can do everything I need to do and it gives you another one of those lovely messages with an OX8 and some other numbers and all it means is that in your profile you've told it where you want to save stuff and I've gone to that card that SD card because my hard drive is pretty cluttered and it's a, it's a clean up job that's required. But at 256 gig, there's an awful lot of stuff on here that doesn't need to be here and, and I need to go through. And it's pretty full, my C drive. So I don't want to be recording video onto my C drive and risk filling up all my C drive, which then fills up my cache and crashes my PC. I don't want to do that. So I save to my E drive or whatever that is, D drive. Okay, and it's 32 gigabytes there. That's plenty big enough for what I'm doing. And I've got a few of those little cards and I can chuck them in and out, you know, all day long. And it's quite happy so long as it's got one it can read. Okay, so um, I went through the business of cleaning my registry. I, I was in the registry editor, getting rid of registry editors. I mean, I was in PowerShell, getting rid of it there. I, I was all over the bloody place. And I, I kept thinking to myself, I'm into this way too deep for that error way too deep and I went back and thought about it and then I checked the card and then I realized about that little lock tab and it's very easy to confuse the position very easy because it, it's not very clear as to which way is locked and which way is unlocked and it's got lock with a little arrow and if you mark blind like I am uh, you know sometimes you can read that a bit wrong you don't realize it's an arrow you, you read it as a dot and you think oh that's the lock position and but it's not it's the unlock position so it's really stupid the point is you, you got to make sure the, the thing's up if it's not up towards where the pins are then it's locked and that's a standard I believe so all that said if you come across that error and if you get that in photo or whatever that error code is that you're trying to write a file into somewhere where you've got no permission, no space, or it's completely right protected. That's that's what's going on. So you got to either free up some space, you got to change the permission, or you've got to make it read. They're the three solutions, right? So try all three of those first. Free up some space, delete all your cache stuff, your temporary internet files, do a disk clean up, whatever you need to do. Um, don't go reinstalling stuff, because if you're doing that, there's a fair bit that you're, like if it did work and it doesn't work now, there's a fair bit you're doing the wrong thing. If it, does, if it doesn't work and it's never worked, try cleaning up your file space first, and it, you'll probably find it'll just start to work. Um, check that it's not a read-only thing that you... you you're not trying to run as an administrator area or something like that and some people do run as administrator and, and oh yeah it works fine and then they take it off and forget they need to run it as administrator and, and you know they can't write files all of a sudden and they're never going to write files if they're running as administrator and they're trying to do it as a user but never going to happen all right so uh yeah that's the solution free up some space um uh, set the permission using your, your file Explorer, which I've shown you how to do, or make the device readable. And they're your three options. And if it's none of those three, then um, then you've got some other problem going on, which is outside the scope of what this is intended to be. So I hope I've helped you, and I hope you sort your problem out. I want you all to do good things. You know, get out there in the community, give a bit back. 
uh, just be safe and do good things and that's all, all that's required of you in your life and that's all that's required of me too and I'm giving a bit back here um, and happy computing and, and, and do good things. Thanks for watching. Right, so what I've done there is I've slid that um, black USB into its locked position. And now I'm going to show you what happens when you look at it in your file explorer. Now I've only got a few minutes here, so let's see if we can get to this. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to reference that card. So here it is, new SD. And you can see there's a backup folder in there. And if I go in there, now if I just look here at this and I go to the properties, you can see that this permission is set read only. Now if I go into advanced, you can see here I can't do anything else with it. It's all grayed out. There's not a lot more I can do. But Mr. Microsoft, thank you in your infinite wisdom. In your infinite wisdom, you give me this option here and I can just do that. Right? And I can go, thank you. I don't want that to be read only. There we go. And I'm going to apply that. Thanks very much. Apply changes to folder and all of its files. Thank you very I'll do that. Right? I don't know how it got there, but now I can see it's not, right? And I just go, okay, that's all done. Beauty, thank you. And I'm finished. And now I can write files to it. Eh. No, you can't. Check this out. I'm going to just go back in there. Yeah, this is really poor software engineering. And have a look at that. We are back. Read only. Right, now I set that permission. Now I can run that as administrator. I can actually open the file explorer and do exactly that as an administrator. And what's going to happen is it's going to do exactly the same thing. It's going to think I've done changes. And if I'm in an administrative area, I can be doing that somewhere like I might be able to see it as a read only. And I might be trying to change permissions somewhere in an administrative area. And it'll let me do all that. And uh, it'll come back. Next time I go in, and it'll tell me straight up, ah, look at that fella, it's read only. Now, that is really poor software engineering. Horrible, right? But it's always been, as long as I can remember the file explorer, that has always been the case. Never, ever fixed it. Right, uh, so what it should do is give you one of those lovely messages to say you have no permission to, to change this. That's all it's got to say. You, you, you have no permission to change this. And go away. It, it, it could go one better and say um, nobody has, including administrators, you know, nobody has any permission to change, you know, this read-only device. If it says this read-only device, you get a big clue straight away, you know, it's, it's read-only. So that's what's going on there. Hey, let's celebrate with a sip of coffee, eh? Well, tea. So there you go. I, I just wanted to show you what happens when you use. Now you could use the um, the command prompt, and you can go into PowerShell, and you can do anything you like. But you'll never be able to set the permissions on that device because um, you know it'll it'll um, it's it's right protected, and you won't be able to do it. So the only solution to this problem was to to um, take the right protect off that and uh, then you're able to read and write files to it. But the same would be true if you were in an, in an administrative area where you shouldn't be and you've got no permission. It, it, you'll think you've set that permission and you won't. It, it'll just go away and, and you'll think, yep, I've solved all that and you'll just be going around in circles, which is what I was doing. I was going around in circles. Okay, so let me just apologize for the out of sync stuff on that last part of that recording. Again, I'm not a professional photo guy or media editor or whatever. I'm cobbling this together with bits of free stuff. Um, and until I find a better solution, this will do. And it's good enough. You guys get the idea. So what I was getting at there is that there's some pretty poor software engineering going on. Um, the user interface from Windows and Microsoft has always been uh, a little bit flaky for people who are not 
tech savvy. And being honest, um, sometimes I am tech savvy and sometimes I'm not. And here I really wasn't. I, all I'd done was slide that pin. And, uh, you know, that cost me eight hours, eight hours to get a solution because, yeah, I, I was getting well-meaning advice off the internet. And there are lots of people who solve problems using that, you know, reset the camera. Yeah, it sounds logical. You need to do that sometimes. Um, if your camera was working and it's not working and, you you know, there's got to be some, you know, you got to step back from it and think, well, what did I change? Well, the only thing I did was I slid that card out and put a different card in then slid the different card out and put the original card back in. That was the only thing I changed. And if I'd started with that thought, I'd have gone and checked that card straight up. Now, I didn't. I, I, you know, my fault, dumb. <laughs> I should have just gone straight to the card. Um, but no, I got this error. And, and well, you know, I didn't understand why I got the error. And the first thing I did was Google it. And, and a whole bunch, millions and millions of people got the error. And every single one of them went to this solved page, Microsoft support, reset the camera, right? That's the first thing you're going to hit, reset your camera. And I went and did that, you know, and I still had my error. And it, it's, it, you know, it said, no, nah, still got the error after I reset the camera. You can Google that too. Still got my error after I've reset my software. And um, it'll tell you to remove it. It, you know, it talks you through it doing, using PowerShell. Yep, you can get rid of it using your PowerShell and get it out of there. And there's a whole bunch of people that have done that. And I did that too. And I and when I went to reinstall my camera from the store, I got all these messages back saying, piss off, I'm not interested in installing any software because there's something wrong. But it didn't tell you what the something was. It gave you this message, which was OX8 and a bunch of numbers. Um, um We've failed to install. That's all it says. We've failed to install the software. You'll have to excuse me. I've got a bit of a flu going on. I've got, I'm actually wrapped up in a blanket. <laughs> it's a bit cool here, but I've got a blanket over me. I'm going to have to put a jumper on in a minute because I'm getting a bit cold. Hey, welcome back. Um, I just got myself all rugged up in my Griffith Uni shirt. Hey, I might end up doing these ones if it gets any cold. I'll put the bloody hood up. Because you lose a lot of heat through here. Oh, I'm cold. Now, some of you are laughing your head off. I think it's about, oh, I don't know, 18 or 19 degrees Celsius outside. But for us, this is cold, you know. It's actually one of the colder days. But because I've got this bloody cold, this flu, or whatever it is, I've got a runny nose and a sore throat. So it could be a cold, could be a flu. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to sign off. Uh, again, uh, you know, do good things, give back to the community a bit, and look after yourselves and your families, and uh, I'll see you guys at the next video. Thank you for watching.